it really fun or really stressful to make a movie that's this secretive? Fun, really fun. Yeah, yeah definitely. You know, I really wanted to tell people like how cool this movie was, but it's really hard to fully go into it without giving the whole thing away. So first for myself, wanting to keep the audience's experience pure, I was just kind of like, I'm just gonna not say much about this one. I just kept my yap shut about it because I didn't want to spoil anybody's fun when they watched it. Um, we really just didn't talk about it. I mean, honestly, it was excruciating in particular for me as I am such a film, uh, film lover and love talking about movies. And here I am making my first movie and I can't say anything about it. Now this movie had a code name, right? Right. What was it, Valencia? Valencia. What was the meaning behind the code name? Um, well, it actually came from, in the dinner table scene, uh, John Goodman's character, Howard, gave this three minute long, intense speech about the siege of Valencia and what it means to be a traitor. When, when I got the script, it was called The Cellar. Then it was called Valencia. And a couple of weeks ago, it was called 10 Cloverfield Lane. Did you feel like Beyonce once the trailer dropped? <laughs> you know, it's so funny. I did not even process that element to it. I didn't know until a couple hours before the trailer came out and Dan Trachtenberg, the director, called me up and he was like, okay, so this is what it's gonna be. And, you know, I had no, no idea. Just so you know, trailer's gonna come out on Friday. You're gonna see it, and uh, it has a new title. And I was like, fantastic, you know? And then my sister was like, why didn't you tell me you were in a, in a kind of Cloverfield spinoff? I was like, well, I, I, if I had known, I, I would've told you. The idea that uh, this movie wasn't gonna be marketed all year long, it was just gonna be so quickly. I, and and um, I was so focused on making the movie that I didn't get to think about that. And it is so special. It reminds me of, of growing up and finding out about a movie from the trailer uh, for the first time. What's like a word you'd use to describe JJ? Abrams, who's our producer on this movie. Um, superhuman. That's how I would describe him. Like, I don't think he sleeps. I can't imagine that he ever has any downtime because he just works so much, but he also is like full of energy. He just burning with ideas and intensity and fun. Um, he's, he's wonderful. It, there's, there's a magic to it and, and that he kind of just gives to any project he's working on that everybody picks up on. So the tagline for this movie is monsters come in many forms. When it comes to monsters, are you most scared of aliens, vampires, or zombies? Zombies. Yeah, definitely zombies. Oof. Yeah. Yikes. Not aliens. Zombies I just never bought into, and vampires they oversexed. Um, probably zombies. I guess because for some reason they seem the most, like, real to me, like the most, <laughs> like, like something I could really run into. Um, so I find that really, I don't know, there's something really kind of gross about being like eaten alive too that is really, really scary to me.